and we back y'all what we got today we got a different type of video uh, i did two of these already they were uh way before uh roster updates have came out it was one for hitters one for pitchers um they were around oh, like a month ago already because roster updates only came out two weeks ago i did it way before but now since we're actually in week by week i want to go over who i think's going um gold to diamond silver to gold and uh bronze to silver for uh august 14th roster update so let's get right into it we are going to go to the community market and we're going to start off from bronze to silver there's only one that i think is kind of clear cut that i think really will get it uh, i'm not going to filter by team i'm just going to go until i see him to be honest right here dylan bundy of the um uh los angeles angels Dylan Bundy has pitched a couple gems already for the Angels. Great, great player for uh, the Angels pitching staff this season. Debatably uh, the ace of their rotation this season. Shohei Otani, obviously, you know he's just going to be a hitter now just because of that uh, injury. And I believe it was his one, uh, his throwing arm, which you, obviously you can't have an injury in your throwing arm when you're a pitcher. Um, and honestly, I think Dylan Bundy is definitely going to get over that hump, go to 75 overall minimum. I think if you guys want to invest in him, uh, as you see, his price is already at 314 for a 74. Bit high, so if you guys want to invest in him, make that investment, make the quick flip once he is almost guaranteed to go silver. So if you guys want to make that investment, go right ahead. Next, we're going to move over to some silver to golds. The first one I want to talk about, Mike Yastrzemski, already going for 999, basically 1000. I'm holding on to him. Because if he does go um, gold, which I really do believe he will, this guy's been raking straight out, whacking the ball all along the field for strikes. Um, not for strikes, for bombs. Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm all over the place. Um, Mr. Yastrzemski got the up to a 79 last week, and I think he's going to get the 80 plus this week, become a gold um, tier player, which he definitely deserves. Uh, also, I think feel like this is a great investment to make just because he's almost like I said with Dylan Bundy a guarantee to go gold so if I were you guys make this investment as soon as you can I'm going to be uploading this on the Wednesday you have Wednesday and Thursday uh to make that investment even Friday before the um roster update live stream comes out because then obviously you know who's going where but you have basically three days to do this investment I'd say you make a couple investments Obviously, not a guarantee. I don't know anything from SDS, but I'm just looking at stats right now, and I see that he is popping the hell off. So I'd say make that investment. The next one is right under him, Michael Conforto. Conforto, I've been saying for two weeks he's going to go gold. He hasn't gone gold yet. He's gone up to lefties because both of his, uh, a couple of his home runs actually are against lefties, and I really think that Conforto needs a lefty upgrade, and that's gonna, that is what's gonna get him to the uh, gold caliber player, which he deserves in my opinion. Uh, that lefty lefty bomb against Patrick Corbin against the Nationals, that was a great, great, great um, bomb. That was uh, one of the best, honestly. Michael Conforto, very, very good player, and I think he definitely deserves the gold. Moving over to the gold section, uh, this isn't going to be at that long of a video just because I don't feel like there, there's too many. Um, our first one's going to be Trevor Bauer, basically diamond price already. I Oh, I guess I sold him. Huh, weird. I thought I uh, still held on to one, but nope, I didn't. I sold him, so he's basically a diamond. Uh, if you want to make that investment for like around 4600 and then what you could do is basically quick sell him for five, making a bit of a 300 stub profit after taxes. Um, that's like okay type of investment, but I think Trevor Bauer is going diamond. I just don't think that's the best investment that you guys should make. Lance Lynn's another guy popping the hell off. I really think that he has a chance to go diamond. Not saying he will because I really don't think he will, but he has a chance. Because just um, his ERA, his strikeouts, low walks, this guy's been doing it all for the Rangers. Um, and I feel like he definitely has a chance, but like he's not one of my like highest, like you got to invest in him right now. Uh, next, we are going to the Juan Soto of the Washington Nationals. Just came back from injury, uh, not injury, um, a false COVID-19 positive this week. Uh, smashing the ball already this guy um wants out of he's just electric one of the best uh hitting outfielders in the league guaranteed what he's been, what he's been doing so far you could already see it what he did last year you already see it Juan Soto 
uh, honestly, I really think either he's going to go to 84. He's going up, guaranteed, but it's between 84 or he's going to get the jump to diamond. Moving over, we are going to Mr. Barry Bonds uh, type of player. Now, Chuck Nasty... What what where does he come from this season? Look at those look at that. He's going for 5k already. This man is like Barry Bonds. He's hitting like Barry Bonds. The uh I'm pretty sure like a 460, 470 average, 30 he's leading the lead le leading the league in hits with like 30 something, 30 plus. Um he went he's going like three for five, four for five, uh three for four. Like every night, day in, day out, this guy's getting multiple hits every game. I can't believe Charlie Blackman is doing this right now. Chuck Nasty, you know I love me some Chuck Nasty. I He's playing like Barry Bonds, flat out. Either he's getting a really big jump to an 84, or he's going to pull a Nick Castellanos and go all the way. Four overalls, get that jump. Those hitting stats are going to be freaking disgusting because we all know he can't field. Like, that's Chuck Nasty for you. But how much do they have to boost his hitting to get um, him to a diamond? We're going to go look at Castellanos real quick. Because I want to see how much they boosted his hitting to get all the way up to a diamond. And then we'll see about Chuck Nasty. So here he jumped up four overalls, 81 to an 85. Nine, to, uh, nine contact versus righties and 18 power versus righties. So now uh, Nick Castellanos is pretty balanced of a hitter. Just that contact versus lefty shines over anything else. But I really think they boosted him his power 18 and his contact 9. And that got him all the way to an 85 overall. So what I think they're going to do for Chuck Nasty, let's go back to him right here. I think they're going to do uh, a mini, like I'd say he's going to get like 97 contact versus righties with 95 versus lefties. And then the power is like 88 versus righties and like 85 versus lefties. And the vision's going to probably go up to like... 78 79 type of thing just know that chuck nasty's is going to be a shell of himself um of his his new uh upgraded player is what i'm trying to say is going to be like just 10 times better than this guy this little guy that you're looking at right now is going to be like a fraction of what the new one's going to be this i can't wait for uh friday to see if chuck nasty goes diamond and i want to see how much they're boosting his stats by all right, everyone, that's, I know it's a short type of video, but uh, I really wanted to get that video out. I wanted to uh, say who my roster predictions were. Also, I want to show, uh, want to thank you guys so much uh, for all the support you've been showing me through those past uh, Madden 21 Ultimate Team prediction videos between the quarterback, wide receiver, running back, and tight end. I really enjoyed making those videos, and I'm really excited for Madden 21. So if you guys like this, uh, that style of video, I hope you enjoyed that series, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm out. Peace.